And the House of Representatives, you don't resolve to assist the Lagos state government on top of how to take a find the root cause for the recent gas plant explode for the Abuleado area of the state. The lawmakers they went then been reacted to one motion where they raised by any Tom Badru. And yeah, they say then they saddened by the event. He will leave several people, but many, many people injured, and then uh, some of them can still die. The house now resolves to partner with the Lagos State government to find the root cause of the explosion, which is with a view to averting the recurrence in future. The, the policies of government at times are responsible for this type of incidents we find ourselves. The petrol pipes that were laid by NMPC in other clients of the world, any pipe carrying uh, inflammable products go as far as two or three hundred meters down the ground. Over two or three hundred meters down the ground. But unfortunately, what do we have in Nigeria? We have pipes carrying petrol, transporting petrol, laid on the surface. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, this country has a pipeline network of 5,000 kilometers. An infrastructure level of over 5,000 kilometers. But the problem is Nigerians want to build new things. They do not want to maintain anything. They don't interrogate the integrity and status of their infrastructure. And we continue to pay the price. Both in human lives and losses economically. I'm happy that His Excellency, as our Ludic Governor of Lagos State, have set up a trust fund that show that all members of the National Assembly will contribute to that trust fund and everybody, whatever we just might they have, we need to put money because that two billion will not even do the job. So many people are disposed not only of life but of properties. The damage was extensive. I'll just put the question and hopefully it will be the last of uh, its kind. Those in support of the motion, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. I have it.